You guys hear about the scandal rocking the chess world? No? A few of you? Anybody? You guys actually have heard? Okay, nice. Pretty crazy, right? Salacious stuff? The rest of you, buckle up, man. The chess world is... <laughs> It's on fire right now. Popped up in my feed. I was like, why are you showing me chess news? I don't care about chess. And then I, I mean, I like chess, but I'm not like, I don't care about, anyway, I care now. Because <laughs> this dude, his name's Magnus Carlsen. He's been the number one chess player in the world since 2013. He's like the LeBron James of chess. This dude, <laughs> Steph Curry of chess. We're in the Bay Area. <laughs> All right, nice. Nice. Anyway, this guy, Magnus Carlsen, is like the... Steph Curry of chess. He plays this 19-year-old dude in a tournament. The 19-year-old, his name's Hans Niemann. Great name for a villain, right? Hans Niemann. <laughs> and Hans Niemann beats Magnus Carlsen, the Steph Curry of chess. He beats him. Everyone's like, how the hell did he do that? 19-year-old dude coming in, beating Magnus like that? Nobody knows. They play each other again a couple weeks later in a different tournament. And uh, Hans Niemann makes the first move of the game. Magnus Carlsen doesn't even return fire. He just leaves the table, forfeits the whole tournament. Everyone's like, what the hell's going on? Why did Magnus leave? He sends out this cryptic tweet later that night. He doesn't say much, but basically he's saying Hans Niemann was cheating. And so everyone's like, oh my God, what, how's he cheating? How does he do it? And then this theory starts spreading and gaining traction. And the main theory everyone starts spreading around is that the way he's been cheating is he's got a dude on the outside. So he's playing his game. He's got a man outside in a van. They didn't say he was in a van, but I like to imagine he was in a van. <laughs> And this dude's playing a simulated game on his computer, so he knows the exact perfect move to make next. He's transmitting that information to Hans Niemann on the inside. How? How's he transmitting it? Ain't no beats. Ain't no beats. But how's that work? Morse code. Morse code in the ain't no beat. This is a real theory that starts getting spread around. This dude cheating with ain't no beats, Morse code, vibrating in his butt. Can you imagine wanting to win chess so badly? that you're willing to learn Morse code. That's crazy. <laughs> so, by the way, you, you have no idea how deprived I feel that I don't get to watch her do anal beads when I'm telling this joke. You know what I mean? You think I don't want to be looking at that? <laughs> anyway, Hans, I should have looked, damn it. <laughs> Hans Niemann is pissed the 19 year old pissed off because he's like I'm not using anal beads he, all right focus guys focus he swears he's not using them he's got you thought I was going to say it again huh yeah. but he's even volunteering he's like I'll even uh, let you guys metal detect my ass before I come into tournament <laughs> to prove that I'm not using anal beads. And I don't know much about anal beads. I'm not like an anal bead aficionado by any means, but I know they don't all have to be metal. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, dude. He even volunteered to play naked. I'm not making any of this up. He said, I'll play naked so you know I'm not using anal beads. And again, I don't know much about anal beads, but I know you, you, can, you can tuck them up a little bit. You know what I mean? I feel like the sign language is distracting from the joke right now. Caroline, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Deaf people, you're screwed. <laughs> Maybe if you could be a bit more mature about this, we could have accessibility. Yeah, so this guy, man, he's volunteering. He's so mad. I'm not kidding about any of this. Hans Neiman is suing everybody for $100 million for saying that he's been cheating with anal beads. Defamation of character which is pretty spot on. That's a pretty, like it sounds like a lot of money, but if you guys were out there in the streets saying like, I don't even write my own jokes, I got some dude outside transmitting my jokes to me via anal beats, you know? You'd have a lawsuit on your hands for sure, you know? I write my own jokes. The anal beads are just for pleasure. Keep me on my toes up here. All right, next joke. Um, no, not that one. Uh, so, 